Last time we taught Chariot how to follow the edge of the road and detect the left turn on the road using two color sensors. This time we'll add more blocks so it follows the edge of the road the rest of the way to where Yellow Cat is hiding. Let's start by taking out the block that moves Chariot 12 inches to Yellow's location. Like we did for the first part of the road, we'll use a repeat until block, but what should we use for the until condition? In other words, when should the repeat stop repeating? We want to stop following the road when Chariot reaches the box where Yellow is hiding. Let's use the distance that Chariot needs to go to decide when to stop repeating. Let's measure how far that is. It's 28 centimeters. So how will Chariot know when it's gone that far while it's following the edge of the road? It turns out that the motors keep track of how far they turn in degrees, but that's not the same as centimeters. But we know that Chariot's wheels are 17 and a half centimeters around. Let's do some math. 28 centimeters divided by 17 and a half is 1.6 which is the number of times we need Chariot's motor axles to turn. How many degrees is that? Each full turn is 360 degrees, so we can multiply by 360 to get the total number of degrees that we want the wheels to turn. 1.6 times 360 degrees is 576 degrees. The block we need to measure the relative position of the motor is hidden in a special menu called More Motors. Let's add this menu by clicking on the small icon in the lower left corner and then clicking on more motors. Now we have a bunch more blue motor blocks. We want the program to watch the motor rotation degrees increase as Chariot moves down the road. For complicated reasons, the left motor's relative position will actually decrease as the robot moves forward while the right motor's position will increase. So let's use the right motor by selecting port D because that's where the right motor is plugged in. We can use the relative position by comparing it to our desired number of degrees. We want to stop repeating when the motor's rotation degrees gets to 576. So to do so, let's use a greater than comparison and place a motor relative position block on the left side. Then let's use the fact that 576 is one unit greater than 575 and change the right side of the greater than comparison to 575. Remember that we're using relative position, so we need the relative position to start at zero before the repeat until. Fortunately, there's a block that will do that for us. Let's place it just before where the program starts the repeat until. Now we need to add an if then else block to the repeat until, so we can do different things based on what the color sensor sees. The if condition should be the same as we used in the last episode, whether the color sensor sees less than 60% reflected light. This time we'll be using the color sensor on the left side, so port A is correct. Because Chariot will be following the left edge of the road, the then part should turn slightly left to get back to the left edge of the road. The else part should move slightly right to get back to the edge of the road. Let's save our improved program and then read the new part. Set the motor connected to port D to the relative position of zero degrees. Repeat until the motor connected to port D reaches a relative position greater than 575 degrees. If the color sensor connected to port A measures reflected light less than 60%, then start moving slightly left. Else, start moving slightly right. Let's see what happens. This time it stopped right at what looks like the right spot. Let's reconnect the rest of the blocks and run the program again. Okay, Chariot made the turn and moved forward to grab Yellow and took him home. Following the road paid off. 
Using the color sensors to follow the edge of the road worked well to keep Chariot in the middle of the road so it was in the right spot to make a right turn and move to Yellow's hiding place. Measuring distance using the relative position of the motor worked pretty well. Next time we'll introduce new characters, Pippa the Real Dog and Brownie the Lego Dog.